Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love! So in today's video we're going to be checking out Botticera using Arcade Punk's image which is a 256 build. I will be testing out a 500 gig build and also I will be testing in another video a one terabyte build as well. The good thing about these builds is the fact that everything has been pre-configured. All the ROMs naughtily have been put on there so you basically is just a plug and play. As soon as you load it up it's all ready to go and everything has been done for you. So without further ado let's jump into the 256 build for Arcade Punk on Batacera. I will. For the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna show the iPad uh, and the Arcade Punk site, but you will be doing this on a PC, as, and you'll need a pretty big storage, like a hard drive to download the image, and then you have to compress the image uh, through zip, and then you will automatically so be doubling the size and so if you do a one terabyte image then you'll need two terabytes worth of space because as you're compressing it it will also have the image it's compressing and plus it will be recompressing into a separate image so it will take up double the space so that's to be wear, uh, wary about if you're using a 256 gigabyte image it won't fit on a 256 gig card you will have to get a 400 gig or a 512 gig card likewise with other builds um, normally if you put a 512 gig it, you will need a little bit more space than what it's actually allocated it does state that on the site also head over to arcade punks just type in arcade punks and uh, hit the the link and then you'll see here we have uh, handhelds so if we click on handhelds and if we go to the left hand side you will see steam deck so we click on steam deck close any imagery that comes through as you can see we have a build here we have one terabyte steam deck build 256 gig light gun build we also have a 256 steam deck this is the one that you will use uh, the information if you click on it it will then show you some information about it if you go to torrent it will start to download a torrent but you will need some type of application in order to do so there is nzb never used it so not really sure what's going on with that and then we have the mega where you can download but i did try that but 256 gig it wasn't having any of it really i did upgrade and pay it for a month with a pro 2 version but again it said that it was the file was too big so i'm not really sure what was going on there we have a 512 gig image also underneath which is pretty cool so that's the one that i'm currently downloading at the moment but in this video we'll be checking out the 256 that's the build that we're going to go and use but that is how you would do it guys so in the build it is using Batacera I did showcase 3ds performance which was really really good on Batacera I will leave a link in the description if you wish to check out that video this one is really just to showcase the build from arcade punks and what the community have done to do this build for everybody to use so as you can see we have Xbox games Favorites, Mega Drive, 32X, 3DS, a Thomas Wave, Dreamcast, Final Bay Neo, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, GameCube, Mega Drive, Sega M2, Sega M2 Model 3, Neo Geo, N64, Nintendo Entertainment System, Open Bore, PC Engine, PlayStation, PS2, PlayStation Portable. Sega Saturn, Sega CD, MSU1, which is Super Nintendo, but with CD quality sound. Some really good music on some games. Uh, Super Nintendo, Triforce. That was something I added myself, guys, just to see if it worked. But there is a script that I need to put in in order for some of the games to work. I have downloaded the script, but I'll showcase that in a future video. We got Wii games and then we're back to Xbox. I did add a few Xbox games myself. There was a little bit of space left on the 512 gig card that I had, um, but everything else uh, I will show you. Once we go in, you'll see that there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight games. So not too bad on the game selection. So I'll check out all the systems and what's on there. So Super Nintendo, I think there's around 700 games there. I see it's all got all nice box art for you. 
it does come with a few themes already preloaded for you. So if I go into start and then go into user interface, if I click into themes, you'll see that there is four themes there already. Let's just quickly load them up. So we have this one here, which looks really, really nice. Again, once you go in, it will give you videos, box art, history on all the games, which is really nice. It's also a nice one, it's pretty cool. Standard generic Botticero one. I like the one that I am already currently using. So Sega CD, MSU one. Super Nintendo, Triforce, as I say, I ma added Mario Kart Arcade 2, but it doesn't work. It says there's a problem and to call the attendant, but obviously there's no attendant around because I'm not in an arcade. But there's a script that I have to in include in there. So Sega 32X, 3DS, I, there was only two games in here. Uh, I added the rest of these games here. Thomas Wave, but no Naomi, Dreamcast, all these games are already in there, quite a few, Neo Geo, there's about, around about 500, uh, for Final Burn, um, Neo, should I say, Game Boy, there's about 300 in there, Game Boy Advance, there's about 600, I think. I don't think they put every games in there, but they just put the, the best of the best ones in there, which is good. Game Gear. GameCube. It's quite a nice selection of games in there. Mega Drive, around about seven to eight hundred games. M2, I, there was two games in here for M2, Sega Model M2. I added the rest. You'll see that if it has a image, then that was already installed. And if it has no image, then they're the ones that I've added myself. There's only one game in Model 3, which is Daytona 2. So for a 256 gig uh, image, there is a serious amount of games in there. Nintendo 64, there was about 300 games in there, so that's pretty cool. Full library of NES. It's about 100 games of Open Ball, which is some really good like remakes and fan-made games of original games, which are really, really good. So if you're into that type of thing... Like I was playing, I think it was Golden Axe Remake, which was really nice. Wider screen, when you jump, the shadows move down as you go up. Um, improved music, some extra moves. There's also a block in there, so that's really, really nice. So it's always good to check those games out. PC Engine, full collection. There's over 100 games of PS1. And obviously upscale on here looks absolutely fantastic. That's really cool. PS2, there was a good selection of games in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's 11 games in there. So that's not bad. PSP, you got PSP minis. So if we go into minis, you've got the full collection of all the minis in there as well. And around 300 games for PSP. I was quite surprised on this image. But yeah, they're all in there which is pretty nice. Sega Saturn, there is quite a lot of titles in there as well. Some nice ones. So that's always good. Sega CD, full collection. And then we're back. So let's check out some games and see how it is running. So I'm gonna kick things off with 
some lighter stuff, and then we'll move right away through the catalogue. So let's kick things off with some Game Boy. Let's go with the classic Road Rash. So it does give a really nice border, and obviously it is the interface of a Game Boy. I think it looks really nice. It does give the actual aspect ratio, which is pretty cool. If you want to mess around with the settings and you don't really want this aspect ratio or with these backgrounds, you simply just hold select and A. We can take it out, so we can go to, just as an example to show you, we can press B to go back. We can go to settings. We can go to video. We can go to scaling. I'm just going to simply put it on, instead of custom, I'm just going to go to 4x3, just to show you as an example. I'm going to go to main menu, I'm going to go to quick menu. I'm going to go to overlays and turn overlays off. Go back, quick start, resume. You can also change out the colorization uh, if you wish into the options as well. This looks like a lime green they're using, which I'm not keen on. But whatever style or preference you wish to play Game Boy, you can do that. And it looks really, really good. Nice and sharp on here. Another one that looks really good is Game Boy Advance. It will give you, again, a lovely border to go around. If you don't wish to play it like this, even though it does look nice and you have a big enough area to play, you can, again, just simply go to the settings and change them. You can make it a per permanent selection. So if we go to video again, I'm going to go down to scaling. Aspect ratio, custom. This time I'm gonna to go to full. And because of the orientation and the screen of three by two for Game Boy Advance, when you go full screen, it just makes it look incredible on here. Such a great pause. I remember getting this on my Game Boy Advance and just being blown away. How accurate it is towards the arcade. Having all three characters as well, even though the SNES version didn't. Good times. Again, same with Game Boy Color. Looks really, really nice. Again, you can change out the orientation, have it how you want it on the screen, or you can keep it as it is. Blaster Master Zero, absolute classic. But again, looks really nice. Same with Game Gear, looks incredible. Plays great. No issues with GameCube. Runs great. Mega Drive, as you'd expect, runs really good. Also has the 16-bit Mega Drive on the borders as well. Looks really nice.
Okay, so I'm going to showcase a little bit more of the higher end stuff. So I'm going to start off with some Sega M2. Let's go with some Virtual Fighter 2. Go with some Sega Rally Championship Arcade. So nice to play the arcade version instead of the Sega Saturn version. stunning and as you can see there's no graphical hiccups and playing full speed really nice the way the controls have been done is you push forward to go and then you just move left and right to turn which is quite nice didn't think it would be but you can get used to it and it's makes it a little bit more accurate on the control because obviously it uses an arcade stick so it's a good compromise and be a little bit more accurate in your drifts not that I'm very good but it does make a massive difference yeah very good but there are loads of games on there guys really great arcade games Let's go to Sega Model 3, Daytona 2, uh, Daytona 2. I never actually played uh, Daytona 2 in the arcade, so it's great to have them on here. Didn't mean to do that. Come on guys, get those tyres on, let's go. Again, really enjoyable and looks fantastic and plays really well on here. Again, with the controls, it is forward to go accelerate. The slight left and right little touch and tweak. If you push back, you can then brake. It makes the controls less janky, even though I'm not very good. Go with some PlayStation 2. probably go higher than 2x but there's not really any need uh, when you're playing it on the handheld it looks incredibly sharp Let's see if we can get it up close it does look really nice 
plays great. Let's go with some Red Dead Revolver. It's great playing the original Xbox games on here. But the problem is it's pretty, yeah, hit and miss. Some games just aren't compatible whatsoever, which is a shame. Playing full speed and looks absolutely fantastic on here, guys. Really is such an enjoyable game, this Tekken. out some soul caliber on xbox i will do a breakdown emulation for this guy so i'll do a long play video of just testing as many xbox games as possible so if you're into that and you want to see more on that and also botticera builds in the future please consider hitting the like button and subscribe it really does help out the channel and helps the algorithm helps me reach even more people that love this kind of thing So I say, the games that I've tested, not every game works, guys, but when they do work, they work really well. It's more about if it's compatible with the emulator itself. But if they are compatible, then they play a dream. Check out some X-Men.
great playing Xbox original games on uh, the Steam Deck. So many reminiscent memories of these games. I loved my Xbox when I had it. Psycho Nauts, I think, was one of my favourite games. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave it there. That is a look at Arcade Punk 256 build on the Steam Deck with Batacera. I think it's really nice. Um, personally, myself, I wouldn't go with the 256. I'd go with neither the 500 or the 1 terabyte, just simply because of the choice of games there's a lot of high-end games on there which means it does take up a lot of space which means that they can't put that many games on so i recommend the 512 or the one terabyte but if you're just wanting to test it out yourself then go ahead to arcade punks all the relevant information is there in order to do so if you want to see more testing on here and more games individually or collectively on the emulator then please let me know in the comments but yeah i think it's really really good i will be doing a botasera in-depth tutorial have a plug-in build like this or go down the torrent route i will show you step by step of how to set up botasera and do everything that you have on here which will then if you like tinkering around then obviously that video will be for you please hit the subscribe button if it's something you want to see in the future retro handheld reviews future Botticera videos and more Steam Deck guides on how to do Botticera, then hit the bell, notification, and a thumbs up would be great. And as always, guys, take care.